This is a video to help you perform the vapor pressure and heat of vaporization lab experiments. We are going to do this lab today with a computer and a lab quest, and I will show you how to set up, record data, and clean up this lab. First, let's do some prep work for the, for the vapor pressure and heat of vaporization lab. You will be given two beakers, one of them filled with about 400 milliliters of water and put it on the hot plate on medium heat to begin heating. The other beaker should be filled with just enough room temperature water that covers the bulb and neck of the 125 milliliters early Mara flask. You will be adding more water to this beaker and you do not want it to completely cover the flask. Next, let's talk about the vernier equipment you're given for this experiment. You are given a temperature probe which is used to measure the temperature changes as you add hot water to the beaker. And you're also given a pressure probe which is attached to a stopper. First, you need to measure a room temperature and pressure reading. To do this, connect the temperature probe to one of the channels of the LabQuest box. And connect the pressure sensor to another channel of the LabQuest box. Then, connect the LabQuest box to the computer. Next, open the Logger Pro software on your computer. Finally, go to File, Open to open the Advanced Chemistry with Vernier folder. Open the file 34 Vapor. You should see a graph and a temperature and pressure box with the current temperature and pressure displayed. You will need to wait a few moments while the temperature stabilizes to take your room temperature reading. While the temperature is stabilizing, assemble the rest of the equipment you will need for this experiment. Twist the white stopper snugly into the neck of the Erlenmeyer flask. Uh, this is to avoid losing of any gas that will be produced as the liquid evaporates and make sure the valve is open by making sure it's in vertical position. Record the temperature and then wait for the pressure to stabilize. This first temperature reading will go under the initial temperature reading in the data table on lab paper. The room pressure reading will go into the initial P air reading in kilopascals. There will be no P total or P vapor. Then you will need to condition the Erlenmeyer flask and the sensors to the water bath. Place the temperature probe, probe into the room temperature water bath. And place the Erlenmeyer flask in the water bath. Hold the flask down into the water bath to the bottom of the white stopper. One member of your group should hold the flask very still in the water bath the whole time during this experiment. After 30 seconds, close the valve on the white stopper. Obtain a small amount of ethanol. Draw three milliliters of ethanol into the 20 milliliter syringe that is part of the gas pressure sensor accessories. Thread the syringe onto the valve on the white stopper. Next, add the ethanol to the flask by opening the valve below the syringe containing the three milliliters of ethanol, orientating it vertically. Then push down on the blunger of the syringe to inject the ethanol and quickly pull it back to the three milliliters mark. Close the valve below the syringe by orientating it horizontal and carefully remove the syringe from the stopper so that the stopper is not moved. Gently rotate the flask in the water bath for a few seconds using a motion similar to slowly stirring a cup of coffee or tea to accelerate the evaporation of the ethanol. Monitor and collect temperature and pressure data by clicking collect to begin data collection. Make sure the person is holding the flask steady once again and monitor pressure and temperature readings. When the reading stabilize, click keep. Record the pressure readings as P total and the temperature readings in your data table. Add a small amount of hot water from the beaker on the hot plate 
to warm the water bath by 3 to 5 degrees Celsius. Use a spoon or small beaker to transfer the hot water. Stir the water bath slowly with the temperature probe. Monitor the pressure and temperature readings. When the reading stabilizes, click Keep. You will observe a gradual change and increase in vapor pressure. Keep adding hot water until you have completed five total trials. Add enough hot water for each trial so that the temperature of the water bath increases by 3 to 5 degrees Celsius. But do not warm the water bath beyond 40 degrees Celsius because the pressure increase may pop the stopper out of the flask. If you must remove some of the water in the bath, do it carefully with a pipette so as not to disturb the flask. After you have recorded the fifth set of readings, open the valve to release the pressure in the flask. Remove the flask from the water bath and take the stopper off the flask. Then dispose of the ethanol as directed. This is a complete procedure for completing the vapor pressure and heat of vaporization lab. Be sure to read your lab worksheet for some additional details and the data analysis section.